Hey guys, so today on the Sunkiss 7 channel what we're going to be doing is uh, doing five uh, beauty tips for back to school. So I'll start with that now. So my first tip is to make sure you get your hair trimmed like enough because uh, I didn't get my hair trimmed like at all like for the longest time because like I wanted it to grow out so I'd be like oh why am I going to get my hair cut if it's just if I want it to grow. So I'd get it like cut like once a year because like I didn't want anyone messing with the length. So um, it grew really long but then what happened was it was like down to like here which is like what I wanted but like maybe even a little longer but like this much of it if not even more was like dead split ends and then my aunt is a hairdresser and then I I didn't realize that like I had split ends like just it's just hair and then like she was just like wow you have like this much split ends so you have to get that cut off if you want it to grow any longer so then I had to get like four inches cut off which is actually a lot and so now it's really short again but that's what I get because I didn't trim my hair often so you guys should definitely trim your hair often so you don't get split ends the second tip is so like obvious I shouldn't even have to say it but to some people it isn't obvious so I'm gonna say it anyway but you guys should take a shower daily and I know that's like an obvious thing like oh of course you take a shower once a day but to a lot of people, it's not obvious, and, uh, yeah, I don't want to be rude, but, like, some people, like, they have, like, very greasy, oily hair, because they don't wash their hair enough, and, like, some people, they're just, like, all, like, oily skin and everything, and, like, it's not attractive <laughs> when you smell bad. So, um, keep on top of your hygiene and take a shower daily. And it doesn't matter if you take a shower like at night or in the morning. Just make sure you take a shower because like if you don't you're going to smell. But also be aware when you take a shower at night and you wash your hair, um you have to you should probably try to dry it before you go to bed because if you go to sleep on like wet hair, it'll um cause arthritis in your neck in the future. So Try to blow dry your hair at night if you're taking a shower at night. Number three, um, I love to use body sprays and I just I just like them so much. But you shouldn't like spray it all over yourself and then like as soon as you walk into the room you could like smell your you could smell your perfume. I use like these little body sprays and they're from uh, like Bath and Body Works and you can get like three for like ten or eleven dollars and they're just like the mini ones. Like, with like one of them like pair some more, you can just take one, spray it on your wrist, and then just rub it in. And yeah, and then you'll smell like that. And I don't know why some girls like they seriously they spray it like eight times and then they walk through it and it's just like oh my gosh because you smell it everywhere. And like I love these body sprays, especially like after gym or whatever. But like. Also, be mindful, some people have allergies to it, and, like, you won't know unless someone's having, like, a reaction or they told you. So, uh, I would be careful with that, and don't spray it all over. Just, you know, one spray is fine. Like, if, if that's not good enough for you, you can get a stronger kind, like these. I think Victoria's Secret body sprays are, are a lot stronger than the Bath & Body Works one, and I also have some of these, but I don't use it too often. So, yeah, some body sprays are good, but not too much. Tip number four, if you have perfect eye vision, uh, I'm very jealous of you and this tip doesn't apply to you, but for people who have bad eyesight such as myself, I have very bad eyes, if you have glasses, some things that you will need is um, lens tissue. I always carry around lens tissue when I wear my glasses and like it's a little case and everything and I have two kinds and I have like this pink kind and then I have this blue kind and the lenses on these, they get so foggy and messed up so easily, and they're clean now, because I haven't worn them in a while, but you know, just like, yeah, especially, you never know when it's going to rain, and then your glasses are all foggy, and I hate that, it makes me so mad when my glasses are foggy, and then I can't see much, and you can't use, like, your shirt, or your, um, or, like, any, like, toilet paper, or tissue, or whatever, because it'll scratch the lenses, so you need lens tissue, so I recommend bringing lens tissue to school with you when you have glasses like these. However, if you're like me and you don't have glasses anymore and now you have contacts like me, uh, I also recommend bringing eye drops because these contacts, they, it depends on what kind you have, but like sometimes they dry out often, especially if you're bad with it and you sleep with them because my contacts, they allow me to sleep in with them like up to three to four days, so that's 
what I do sometimes. I usually sleep with it like in like a day or two. But like they get dry. So I recommend eye drops. You bring them to school with you. Because you never know when your contacts are going to get really dry and annoying. And it's just annoying for the rest of the day. Knowing that like your contacts feel all weird. So eye drops will make them so much more comfortable. Um, my last tip, tip number five, would be to deep condition your hair because, like, especially if you do, like, a lot of heat on it, like I do, um, I always use a lot, a lot of heat on my hair, and, yeah, I pretty much don't go a day without using heat on it, which is really bad, and, like, I sometimes use heat protectant, but, you know, I sometimes forget, and I really don't think heat protectant helps that well, to be quite honest, at least for my hair. So, I recommend you deep condition your hair, which is what I do, and you're supposed to do it like once uh, a week or sometimes once every two weeks, but I do it like once every two weeks to once a month. And this is one of my favorite kinds, and this is Aussie 3 Minute Miracle, and yeah, do you see all the E's in the deep conditioner? And yeah, it smells like coconut, so that's really good. So yeah, I really like the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. But if you want something a lot stronger, because this works, and it works pretty good, but there's something better, and like that's like actual treatments, and I do olive oil treatments. Sometimes I use regular, just plain extra virgin olive oil, but I also have these things that you can buy from the store if you don't want to just use regular olive oil. And uh, this is Proclaim Professional Care with olive oil, yeah. This is what I use, and I think it works really well, and it says natural boat technical oils I don't know what that is but it works really well and then this is like a conditioning one and it's a uh, yeah conditioning spray oil olive oil formula and yeah and it says keeps hair and scalp keeps braids soft and shiny so yeah this is pretty much extra virgin olive oil as you can see and it's organic so that's good and yeah so I really like doing these and olive oil treatments and yeah, that's really what that's what I like to do. And also, um, I've tried manning treatments, which have worked pretty well. Uh, still, my favorite is the olive oil treatments. But any kind of deep conditioning you want is fantastic for your hair. So I recommend you guys do that. So yeah, that's the end of my five little tips. And uh, this is the end of uh, our collab. So yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Reagan and Jess for letting me be in your collab because this is really fun and also uh, thanks to Rachel, my fill-in, she did such a great job filling in for me so thank you Rachel and yeah so if you guys uh, liked watching my videos you can go check out my main channel which I'll put a link in the description it's kind of random much and yeah and I know a lot of you guys have already started school but uh, I live in New York and we start on September 5th so we haven't started yet. But if you have started school already, hope you guys have a great year. And I hope uh, for the people who haven't started school yet, like myself, still have a great summer. And yeah, okay. Bye, guys.